All right, research project and presentation. In this video, I'm going to do my best to outline the project, the presentation requirements, talk about deadlines, and give you some, tip, some tips for success. Um, first off, uh, I'm going to be showing you some of the, the, the places that I'd like you to look in your Blackboard. In week seven, in our, um, if you go down to the Materials and Resources tab, you will see that I've outlined here, uh, as clearly as I can, uh, a description of your research project, including things like deadline, point value, due date, and as well as a prompt. And then secondly, uh, some background about the presentation assignment with much the same. Both of these assignments are due uh, at the end of the term, on week 11, on uh, that Wednesday, June 21st, 11.59 p.m. Uh, so that gives you just over a month to begin and complete both of these assignments. Uh, because in my experience, having uh, guide posts along the way uh, is necessary for success in these types of projects. I've done my best to provide us with an outline going forward to make sure that you are on the right track uh, and that you are not falling behind. And so within this assignment, I've built in little um, points that we can make sure assess that we are on the right path. That first little assessment will be due uh, this Sunday in which uh, I've asked for you to outline uh, what your research topic and research question will be for this project. Now, I'll get more into that in just a moment. Let's talk a little bit about this research project. What am I expecting from you? Well, again, the project will be due June 21st at 11.59 p.m. The project will be worth 100 points, uh, but in all, it's going to be worth uh, a total of 30% of your grade. Um, the length of this project should be between five and seven pages. Uh, as a 300 level history course, um, you know, we are of course looking at the quality of the assignment and the depth of the assignment. Um, this is a chance for you to really deep dive into a very specific question or topic that, uh, that we've come across this term that interests you. Now, to be very clear, I am op I'm leaving the topic ex itself almost entirely up to you. Now, I recognize that none of you are history majors. That, that is important because um, we don't have a history major here at the school. I recognize that you come from a variety of disciplines. Some of you are business, criminal justice, some of you are OTA, um, PTA, uh, and there's many others, IT. Um, and so one of the things that I'm encouraging you, encouraging you to do is to try to find that correlation between your personal interests, perhaps your, um, your major interests, uh, and that of this course. Now our course, of course, our course, of course, looks at Martin Luther King in the 1960s and the Civil Rights Movement. Uh, and so you might think, off the top of your head, how, what does this have to do with business management? Uh, maybe that is a bit of a stretch. But I would encourage you, if there is a topic that we have read about in the 1968 book, or in reading about Martin Luther King or the Civil Rights Movement, that does correlate with some of your interests, that you use that as an opportunity um, to consider a project and perhaps move in that, in that direction. Now, you do not have to do that. Um, maybe you are interested in other topics altogether. That's completely fine. But that is something that I would encourage you to do, so that the value in this project uh, overlaps both our history general education requirement as well as your own personal professional goals. So um, essentially this project allows you to choose anything, any topic related to our course and to delve deeply into it. Now uh, on this page I have outlined some types of questions that you could consider uh, but you should not be limited and, and I beg you not to be limited to these questions. These are only meant to get the mind thinking about the topics we've explored and see how many different aspects or angles that you could approach this. For instance, maybe you're interested in the creation of the national holiday that celebrates uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, maybe you want to research how this holiday was created. Who was the driving force behind it? How was it approved by Congress? Or was this something that came from a presidential um, executive order or, or appointment. Um, what was the reaction, both nationally uh, and with, among members of Congress? 
because this is such a racially motivated um, history, and given our country's uh, history with topics of African American, uh, of African Americans, uh, and especially in the 1950s and 60s, being very slow to allow for uh, a sense of equality, um, how then did Congress, which historically has been composed primarily of white men, how did they take to the creation of a national holiday? Did they? Uh, were there uh, political battles in uh, about racism that you could uh, delve deep deeper into? Um, maybe you're interested in looking at films. Maybe that's kind of your secret passion. You love watching movies. Uh, and there have been no numerous movies, even movies recently, that have been made about the civil rights era. Uh, I'm thinking of, for instance, Selma, which came out, I think, in 2014, 2013, perhaps, uh, which looked at a specific moment, this march with Martin Luther King uh, crossing the bridge uh, into Selma. Maybe you are interested about the historical accuracy of that. Maybe you want to know more about the director's motivation. Right? How did the director take this historical topic, and are there biases embedded into this? Uh, can we see those biases in the discrepancies between the historical record and that which is depicted in the film? But you could also do this with other films, like Mississippi Burning, The Ghost of, of Mississippi, or the new movie, The Butler. Um, maybe you're interested in the relationship between the civil rights movement and the comic book creation of the X-Men with Stan Lee. Although there isn't specifically a correlation between the two, Stan Lee has um, denied that the, the two are, are related. There are um, immediate, amazing correlations between uh, Martin Luther King and Malcolm X and the leaders of the X-Men, uh, Professor X and Magneto. Uh, in many ways, we could look at the mutant gene as having a, a correlation with that of racism and issues of race. It is not surprising to me that Stan Lee made the X-Men, the very first comic book, in 1963, right at the height of the Civil Rights Movement. So maybe you're interested in looking at the correlation and want to write a paper um, comparing the two. Um, maybe you're interested in some of the offshoots of the civil rights movement, such as the Black is Beautiful movement. Maybe you're interested in looking at specific parts of that, um, celebration of African names, where, where many African Americans uh, abandoned their own personal Christian names uh, and instead adopted um, traditionally uh, African names. Um, maybe you want to look at the popularity and the rise of popularity of the Afro in the 1960s, uh, also as a protest movement against the standards of mainstream American society. Uh, maybe your topic would like to focus more on Martin Luther King. Perhaps you're interested in how should Martin Luther King's message influence contemporary discussions about race, racism, uh, or the Black Lives Matter movement? Should the Black Lives Ma Matter movement pattern itself more closely off the work of Martin Luther King? Or should they take a, a page from the, the ideas of Malcolm X uh, for a more radical, more violent uh, form of protest? Now, those are some example topics that you can look at. But again, you should not feel at all limited to those topics. My goal here is complete flexibility for you. The only thing that I do ask is that you have your topic approved. Now, the purpose of this isn't to make sure that everyone does the same type of topics, but to make sure that the scope of your project is something that you could accomplish in the next few weeks. Um, you know, if you say, well, what, are the, what is the impact of the civil rights movement is your research question, well, that paper should be a book, not a five-page essay. Um, so I, I am looking for you to keep your project fairly well defined, fairly small in scope, uh, but also something that, of course, interests you. So a, your topic and the central research question, right, the question that you're hoping your project will answer, uh, will be due this upcoming Sunday uh, as a form of a writing assignment. <coughs> the following week, I'm asking for a list of sources that you will be able to use 
in order to do the research for your project. Uh, I'm not asking for you to have done the research, but instead to have find those sources that you will rely on for your research. The purpose for this is to ensure that you are using historically sound sources. Uh, I'm trying to get you to move away from using uh, information that is readily available but maybe not as reliable, such as those found from commercial websites uh, or online encyclopedias, though valuable, uh, but instead using those sources to get to the actual primary or legitimate secondary sources. And that will be due on June 4th. Again, giving you two weeks then to prepare your paper and the second part of this project, the presentation. Now, I'm going to stop this video now and then in order to talk about the presentation in its own video. All right?